<laughs> um, and people keep coming to my page asking me, and they're like, "Man, is you gonna is you gonna speak on Tyson Fury? Only selling uh three hundred tickets or three thousand tickets or whatever stuff like that." And I was like, I wrote these people back. I was like, "No." And they're like, "Well, why not? This, 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 that, and third. I'm like, "Damn, y'all gonna cuss me out because I don't talk about Tyson Fury." So. <laughs> This is this is for those people <laughs> who felt some kind of way. And um, yeah, I seen it. I wasn't going to talk about it because I was like, it ain't no point in me talking about it. Like, I don't know what you guys expect me to say about this. I've already said that this is a joke. I've already said that this wasn't good and Tyson Fury shouldn't be doing this. All you Tyson Fury fanboys came out the whoop. Leave him alone. He's the Gypsy King. Who are you? Blah, 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 blah. You American. Blah, blah. I was like, look, man, I don't even care. If y'all don't care, I don't care. And that's basically how I took it. You know what I'm saying? All that Pizanetta, the Safari Safari, I've made it up. And most of the people have made it up in their head that Tyson Fury fans and over there in the UK and whatever, that you guys don't care. So I didn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know he got some shitty ticket sales, but I'm like, so what? I don't feel no kind of way about this. I'll let Tyson Fury be Tyson Fury. And the reason why I let Tyson Fury be Tyson Fury is because of two main elements. Number one, Tyson Fury's verbal game. I love the way he talk. I love trash talk. He's just good at it. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I respect. That's something that I miss in the game. That's one of the most entertain entertaining things in boxing to me is about the trash talk. The other thing is, man, I really judge people off where I think their heart is at. And I don't question Tyson Fury's heart at all. He did two things that people thought he was crazy for doing. Nobody thought he could beat Klitschko and everybody thought he definitely had no business challenging Deontay Wilder just coming fresh off the couch like that. And, and he fought him in his backyard, man. All that stuff take balls to do. You know what I'm saying? So Tyson Fury's heart is not in question with me. You know? When Tyson Fury makes these kind of fights, I look at it as laziness. You know what I'm saying? Not really wanting to face competition. Not scared of fighting good competition. I just look at it like laziness, you know? But I've been brought it up. I was like, man, this shit shouldn't happen. And if this was Deontay Wilder, we, we would be on his head to the end of his days and some. You know? I said that, you know? Everybody came, oh, what are you talking about, blah, blah. I was like, look, man, I look, I don't need no more fanboys getting pissed getting sensitive i got everybody's fanboys mad at me you know what i'm saying so i was like i just threw my hands up at it now you know what i'm saying the ticket sales to come out yeah it's embarrassing yeah it's shameful but for you same people i was like what do y'all expect what did you think a tyson fury versus auto wilding was going to do what kind of numbers did you what kind of numbers do you expect to have when you got Tyson Fury fighting somebody that nobody has ever heard of in their life. You can't sell a fight like that. Fights are, are are sold off opponents. You know, Tyson Fury knows that. So I don't know what you guys was expecting to get or expecting to see or, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, it is what it is. When you do stuff like this, you get results like this. But nobody cared. You guys didn't care. You find out it was, oh, it's all the while and he's unbeaten, blah, 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 blah. Y'all try to dress this guy up like he was some kind of threat. Now, however, on the other hand, he might as well should have took a tougher fight because it came out being dealing with the same scenario at the end of the day. He thought he was getting by by picking all the while and all the while and turned out to be a tough fight. And he got a hell of a gash over skip a gash. His eyebrow was hanging off his forehead. You know what I'm saying? If you thought that kind of ticket sales and that was worth you sustaining that injury, then you might as well should have fought a halfway decent opponent. You should have fought somebody who was halfway alive because you end up getting a tough fight any damn way. So the at least you could have did was get a halfway decent opponent so you can get some of the credit to come along with that decent fight and get some of the revenue that comes along with that decent fight. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's very easy, but, you know, I don't care what Tyson Fury does because his fan base doesn't care what he does. And this is the interesting thing about Tyson Fury's 